Hello and welcome to this Blender topic on the object and its mesh. All I want to talk about is really the, the fact that the object is defined as I see it by its point of origin and its name. So we can change the name, we can call this test here, like that. And if I create a, if I look at this here, then in the, the outliner, It's still recorded as a cube, although I've changed its name. You can rotate. I press N to bring up the properties. You can rotate the object with the rotation input fields, or um, or also, of course, you know, with the normal rotation tools. And you can see how the uh, the these fields record how many revolutions around the x-axis, for instance, I did now. Well, I'm just going to return to 0, 0, 0 here. And the difference between rotating the mesh and the, or the object and the mesh is that uh, when you rotate the object and the local coordinates, if you turn on local coordinates, they follow like this, if I rotate it 45 degrees there on the x-axis, then the local coordinates follow that. I can regret that and then and turn that to zero, so we have it straight. If I go into edit mode, now it's the mesh that we're dealing with. You can rotate it r x 45 degrees, and the, we have the local coordinates, and they stay the same. So the, the, the object local, the object own coordinate system, the local system, it remains as the object is, and it doesn't take into account that the mesh has changed as such. Uh, if you need to move along the normals or do things along the normals of the mesh or in, when you're editing, then you can choose the normal um, manipulators. And uh, of course now it's there's a median point of what's the normal on this uh, object. If I go into face mode and select a face, uh, face mode there, then it will point in the face normal direction. Another way to demonstrate that the point of origin and the mesh is are separate things turn it over to local, is that you can, you know, I've selected the entire mesh and then I can uh, move it over to here. I'll, I'll move the entire mesh. If I go back to object mode, you can see that the origin is over here and it's a, it's a different position. And if I rotate now, uh, if I do uh, Rx, then it will rotate around that origin. If I go into edit mode, and rotate Rx, then I rotate it around its median point. Unless, of course, I've, I have chosen another pivot point here as the 3D cursor, then that's Rx and follows that. But if you keep the median point as, as the pivot point, then um, that will be the median point of the actual mesh. Of course, if there's a discrepancy between the origin and the mesh, we can go back to uh, object mode. You can always do, use the transform and uh, put the origin back to the geometry. And I'll regret that, control C, or put the geometry, or return the geometry to the orig origin. So that you always have that option in terms of location, but the rotation of this mesh is still, you know, Let's see here, we can go back to object mode and turn that on to, to zero and see. Yeah, we have rotated, or I have rotated this mesh relative to the local coordinates. So if that's something you want to avoid, let you know, if you don't want your mesh to be skewed relative to the local coordinates, you uh, want to remember that um, uh, if you rotate the entire mesh in edit mode, that will change the relationship between uh, the local coordinates and the mesh.
So that's all I wanted to cover in this, just to kind of shed a light over the fact that the mesh is, is a property of the object. It's something that the object can have. It's easily demonstrated by deleting the entire mesh. We're, we're in uh, edit mode. I'll press delete and the uh, vertices and uh, the entire mesh is gone, but the object remains. There's still a, uh, still an object and you can add a mesh to it. So if I, for instance, want to add um, we're in edit, we're, if we go to edit mode, I can add a shift A and add a, let's say, a cone and go back to object mode. Then this object now has a different mesh. It's not going to change the, the, the originally created the name tag here. It's still going to think it's a cube, but uh, uh, it has a new mesh now. So you can, that way you can understand that the object is kind of a point point of origin and a original or a unique identity that can have uh, properties such as mesh materials particle systems and and what have you that is the topic of this discussion and i hope it was useful for you i'll thank you for listening and uh, i'll talk to you soon bye bye